Welcome to the channel, AFL fans. We have one more week before the final start. So, we're going to look back how we did last week in round 23. And this week, my wife, Charlie, is going to take over from me. And she's going to do the predictions because my season has been bang average. And we'll see if she can do better than me. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let's see how we did last week. Looking at last week then, on Friday, we had Collingwood versus Brisbane. I went for a Collingwood win by 10. Unfortunately, Brisbane went away from home and won by 24. A, a, a high scoring game there. Probably a pretty decent one to watch as well if you like goals. But Collingwood could not get the win at home. A good win for Brisbane. 35% of people got that correct result. Um, and even less than that got a close score. But I get absolutely zilch. Not a good start to the week. However, it did get a little bit better. Did get a little bit better. Um, Richmond 101, North 72. Another another game where North are scoring a decent amount of goals. They just have not been able to get more than two wins this season. 96% um, of people went for the correct result, which was uh, Richmond. I don't know why 3% went for North. Hey ho. Um, and I did them to win by 20. They won by 29. And therefore, I get a nice close score. One and a half points in the bag for that. Then Gold Coast versus Carlton. I'm I'm annoyed because <laughs> I, it's another one where I thought, okay, I reckon Gold Coast can win this. Carlton have been on fantastic form. That puts them up to fifth. They've been on fantastic form. They have. But I thought Gold Coast, they may be able to do this. I was only in the 6% of people that thought that. Uh, Carlton won by four points. Only four points. Um, Gold Coast was so close to winning this. I get absolutely nothing. I'm, I'm annoyed because I was only two points off a close score as well. Uh, Carlton run out as victors. 94% of people went for that. So well done to you guys. My prediction. I, I thought I have to go a little bit left field to try and pick up a few points that others wouldn't get. Hey ho. Uh, then we had GWS versus Essendon. This was insane. Eston, what what the hell were you doing? You needed to win this. Technically, they didn't need to win this, actually, by the looks of it. But it does not help their percentage. I think they probably did need to win it. Yeah, they probably did need to win it because their percentage is going to be awful now. Um, I did GWS by 10. And no, they won by 126. I was looking at the score at the time and thinking, what are, this is embarrassing. Um, GWS, I, I predicted GWS because they've had a couple of bad results. They had to turn things around. That does have them in eighth place. Eighth place. They can probably lose. I can't, I'm not sure what the percentage is. Um, they just, it's going to be tight. That's going to be really close with GWS and Western Bulldogs, I think, next next week. But we'll see. Um, one point. Seventeen percent of of Essendon um, pickers are going to be annoyed. That's all I'm going to say. Then Saint Kilda versus Geelong. What is going on? Geelong are done. Geelong are finished. They are not making the finals. They've gone from winners to eleventh, and they might not even finish eleventh. But what the hell has gone on there? I knew they weren't going to do as well this year, but they have done worse than I predicted. And a lot of people in my pre-season predictions were like, oh, no, they're still really, really good. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay. Um, Saints won 88. Geelong, 55. Uh, I did Geelong by 20. They lost by 33. So I get absolutely nothing. But this is the first game, actually, possibly, that I think was a 50-50 split with predictions. Also, um, I'm really annoyed about this. So I am a Southampton fan, all right? We are the Saints, the Saints. Oh, this, this made me annoyed because for St. Kilda, they call them Sainters. Sainters. Ugh, what are you doing? No, you're Saints. Oh, Jesus. Say, if you're a St. Kilda fan and you call yourself a Sainter, you need to be shot. That's all I'm going to say because it's embarrassing. Okay. Anyway, then we sealed it. This game, right? If anything, Swans have been exciting this year. That if, if anything you can say about the Swans, we have given exciting games. 
Uh, and it's not been exciting for Swans fans because it's been... It's been nail-biting games. Uh, Crows, I did Swans to win by 30 and we should have had that. But, as again, the final quarter comes around and we collapse. We were miles ahead and we only ended up winning by one point. I, I just don't understand. Um, but Swans are in the finals again this year. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get to a game. I'm really, really hoping to try and get to the grand final no matter who's playing. I will be in Melbourne for that weekend anyway. So we'll see. Then, this is disgusting. I'm, I'm so upset because last week's video, some of you will notice this. I actually tipped Western Bulldogs but accidentally did West Coast Eagles to win and I actually saw it so I changed it around. If I had, if I did not notice my mistake, I would have had a win and a close score in this one. I'm so upset. I'm so gutted. I'm so gutted. But I did Western Bulldogs to win by 20. They lost. I literally would have been one of two people to get that correctly. Um, I'm so upset. West Coast won by seven. That's all I've got for you now. Uh, so they come off the bottom spot and they overtake North Melbourne. So we cannot say they are throwing games anymore. Then Melbourne versus Hawthorne. I did them to win by 30. They actually won by 27. So I get, I finish off well. I get one and a half points for that. Um, Melbourne sitting in fourth. They may get up to second. I'm not sure about percentages, um, but they've got a top four finish cemented there. Then last game of the week was Fremantle versus Port. 82% of people got this correct. I get the correct score and a close result. I did port by 20. They actually won by 16, which to be fair, uh, isn't as high. Well, they probably could have gone higher, but um, not a great way for Fremantle to finish. That is, I will do a recap of where I predicted teams to finish and where they actually finished uh, probably next week. Uh, and um Fremantle are my biggest letdown of the season. That's all I'm going to say. Over to the table now. We've had so many people enter this competition and, and well done. And thank you everyone for sticking it out that did. In first place at the moment, he's not going to get caught. Jackson, well done. There's one week left. Jackson is currently sitting fourth overall out of about 3,200 odd people. He's sitting fourth place. So Jackson, come on. You need to have an amazing week this week. I really, really hope you do. Um, but honorable mention so far, as I said, to people like Frenchie, Azimus, Kev, uh, VanH26 as well, um, and, and Stobel, Stinky Pinky. It's had some really, really good season. Um, I'm so impressed, much better than I've done anyway. So well done to you guys. There's a little bit of movement going on there. The golden hat is Hugo. Well done, you've had a good week. Let's see where I am at the moment. It, it was a bang average week. That's all I'm going to say. Any other movement? Rhyme up six. Pie Boy down six. Ashley Smith down seven. And there I am. Uh, no places moved. 53. That's so painful. Riley, uh, who's another YouTuber, I think, is 54. Let's see who gets the wooden spoon this week. Fred. Fred, you've only gone down one place, but you get the wooden spoon. So here we have Charlie. It's the last round of the league season before the final start. And this is really weird having this in the middle and us mm. separated. Um, so Charlie, you are going to be picking this week's because I have been pretty bang average. I am right in the middle okay. of the table. So Charlie, Friday the 25th, MCG Essendon versus Collingwood. Now, she does have, I've given her my phone with the league tables. Ten. Um, and bear in mind, this is top, if you get top four, amazing. That makes the finals easier. Um, okay. And then there are some teams trying to fight to get that last top eight How spot possibly. What did you get for a win? Four. Oh, okay. Two so, for a draw. So if zero. Essendon got a four and Giants didn't get any, they might go up. It all depends. So what is the shot difference? So what they call it percentage. So it's 92.71% for Essendon, but Giants is 105. That you... Is that quite a big gap to close? Yeah. Okay, so they're not likely... Okay, so Collingwood are going to win then. You want Collingwood? Okay. Yeah. Collingwood by how many? 
Um, they're going to win by 24. 24. So Charlie says Collingwood are going to win by 24. Okay. Is that a big margin? Uh, it could be worse. It could be bigger than that. But oh. no, we're not changing it. Still a, a close-ish. They're not uh, the bottom. S Essendon have been crap. Anyway. <laughs> they started off well. And then they've just gone shoo, downhill. Okay. Saturday 26th at MCG again. Yeah. Uh, Hawthorne versus Fremantle. So Hawthorne Ooh. sort of play in Victoria, sometimes play down in Tasmania. But this is a bit of a Free. down the bottom. Mm. Mm. So it doesn't really mean anything to so, them? Yes and no. They can't win. Um, they can get in the last day. So the lower you are, normally the better the draft pick you get. Or it puts you in a better position for draft. Because obviously AFL doesn't work like football over here. It's more of a draft system where the lower you are, the better position you are to draft a, a good player. Oh, but anyway, okay. so that might might make a difference. Who knows? Let's have a look at the form. Hmm, okay. Neither of them have won up a lot. No. Um, right, I'm going to go with Hawthorne to win. Okay, they're at home, so... Okay. But... 11. Hawthorne by 11. I think it's going to be close. They're both down there together. I don't think I've ever done an 11. Anyway, really? okay. Next game at the Blundstone Arena. Where's Blundstone? Where is it? Where's the Blundstone Arena? It's in uh, it? Tasmania. Where oh. we are going! We are, we going, are going to ta uh, we are going to Tasmania. Less than a month now, so make sure you go to Charlie and Rob and subscribe to the vlog channel to see our vlogs. Sorry, a little plug there. Um, so North... Melbourne versus Gold Coast North Suns. What? Yeah, and I've been stupid. I'll tell you, I have backed them a few times thinking they're a plucky team and every time they have failed. Gold Suns are quite far down the bottom too. Yeah, they're still a hell of a lot better than I'm North. I'm going to go Gold Coast Suns to win because I can't see North Melbourne winning. Probably a good idea. I'm going to go by... Hmm, 20. 20? Okay, I think that's... that's that's probably a fairly good pick, unless North decide to play all of a sudden. Uh, at the Gabba, yeah. Brisbane, Brisbane Lions so versus right. St Kilda. Brisbane Lions, oh, they're second. Okay, against St Kilda in sixth. Oh, this mm. could be quite a close game. Who's on better form? Okay, Brisbane are on slightly better form. Yeah, it's about the same. It is about... I was going to say, they're quite even. St Saint, Saint, Saint Kilda, very much similar to Essendon. St Kilda started the season really, really well and started plummeting, but they just held on the last... Really? Yeah, yeah. So it did look, uh, what, about f six games ago, it looked like St Kilda were just plummeting, just same as Essendon, and they pulled their finger out of their ass. Put back St Kilda because they're saints. Let's okay. them. No, I found this out, and I've mentioned this earlier on, they don't call themselves saints, right? Oh, like, 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 say you're a St Kilda fan, you're not a saint, like we are at Southampton. They're sainters. No, I don't. That sounds awful, doesn't I'm it? I'm still backing the sainters. Um, okay. By one. By one, oh. Yeah, that's what... Yeah, that's, Swans won only by one uh, last week. Okay, at the litter box. Um, yeah. The Geelong. One with, the one with loads of letters, yeah? Yeah, Geelong versus Western Bulldogs. Geelong, Geelong they, were, they were in the final last year against the Swans and they destroyed us. But this season, as I predicted, no. Um, they started awful, had a little bit of a surge. But and both have lost their last two games. Mm. I'm going to go... Can, can Western... What, can, I'm going to go Bulldogs to win. Can Bulldogs... How good is their win percentage? It is. Or odd split percentage? Yeah. Okay, so they've got a chance. So I'm going to go Bulldogs by... Seven. Bulldogs by seven. I think it's going to be a bit close. Okay. All right. Uh, Optus Stadium, where I really want to go to while in we Perth this year. West Coast Eagles versus Adelaide Crows. Oh, Mackie Adelaide. Probably for the best. Um, yeah. Neither team. Neither team. Let's go. Amazingly, they did. Annoyingly, I accidentally, I accidentally tipped West Coast Eagles. I, I didn't mean to tip them, but I went on the chart. I went them. Realised, so I corrected it for Western Bulldogs and West Coast Eagles won. I was gutted. Um, so you want Adelaide Crows? Crows by 15. By 15. Okay. 
Charlie doesn't go into the analytical side quite as much, but you know, Adelaide Crows. I mainly just go with. All right. I know. Adelaide Oval. Adelaide Oval. Adelaide Oval. Yeah. Port versus Richmond. Right. Port. Where are Port on my list? Well, they're doing quite well. Safe, yeah, yeah. Considering last year they were outside the top eight. Richmond. Had a very good season. Richmond, they can't. They're not going to get in the top eight. Nope. So I think it's going to be Port. <laughs> I'm going to say. I'm going to go big. Go on. 30. 30. Is that big? Yeah. That... Is, it, is it they're likely to be a bigger scoreline than that by 30? You never know. You never know. But the teams commonly win by more than that. Uh, last week, who was it? Uh, Essendon lost by about 100 last week. Yeah, Told you that. Anyway, sport. all right, port by 30. Then at the SCG, yeah. the Bloods versus the Ds. Obviously, Swans to win. Mm -hmm. um, it's at home as well. So this, yeah, so but this is going to be a close one. I for think. this, um, but maybe maybe Melbourne can break into, you know, get to top two. I don't know. I'm not sure about the the percentages. But they have a very, they have the best swans. Percentage. Swans. If we win, I think it possibly means we can play at home the first game of the finals. So there is incentive for us. I'm gonna go Swans to win. Yeah, it's at the SCG as well. So okay. Bye. 17. Okay. Okay, all right. I'm Swans. being optimistic. Some strange points. I, I don't think I've ever done 17 or 11. <laughs> no, I asked you before. Like, last, you know? last one. Carlton versus GWS Giants at Marvel Stadium. Fourth versus That's eight. where we stayed, right next to Marvel. We did. Uh, fourth versus eight. Mm -hmm. hmm. Carlton are in very good form by the looks of it. Giants have not had the best. Uh, so the well, so Carlton. Have Carlton, Carlton had lots of easy. Games? Both teams, Carlton and GWS, very very similar. They started pretty poorly. They were both well outside the top eight. And as you see, Carlton have won their last like eight games. GWS did really well. They lost to us, and then they lost to someone else, and I can't remember. Um, but both teams surged up. Now, GWS need the win. They need the win. Um, to just to ensure they could get a draw, but draws aren't that likely. Just to hold them in. Just to keep them in the top eight. Is this the last game? This is the last game before the finals. Right. So GWS are going to win by three. Now, all I'm going to say, yeah, is Carlton fans have been bashing me all year, all season. Have because you got back some months? No, because I and I say they're quite a boring team, and they do not. Had. Their nickname is the Blues. That's not it's exciting. It's black on there. Yeah, it does a little bit, doesn't it? But no, it's like a really dark blue. But they're literally they're called Carlton Blues. How boring is that? Oh, I'm for them now. I, I should be backing them. But I'm going to get so many comments. GWS have got, now. GWS have got more to lose. They so, need to win. GWS so, by three. Yeah, I think it's going to be a close game. If Charlie goes and gets the full house now, I am going to be absolutely livid because I have failed to do so. I think I've got a, a, a one one off a full house, maybe two. I just do I, even what if all my teams win, but I don't get the scores right. Well, you get a point for winning, okay, and then you get a half a point for being close. How close? I don't know, really. I don't know. Um, so Charlie's picks for this week: Collingwood by twenty-four. Hawthorne by 11, yeah. Um, Gold Coast by 20, St Kilda by 1, Western Bulldogs by 7, Adelaide Crows by 15, Port by 30, Sydney by 17, and Giants by 3. So we will see if Charlie can oh, do... I'm good at this. Uh, probably not, but actually who knows, who knows. Um, we do have someone in the league who is currently fourth overall out of 3,222 people. Good. Yeah, I know Jackson, he's on a flight. Uh, let's let's not talk about that one. Um, thank you so much for watching. We are almost there. The finals are almost upon us. We will soon be in Australia as well. Fingers crossed we'll get some games. I don't know this year. Um, thank you for sticking around. We will see how well Charlie does. We will have next week's video will be a comparison on how I predicted compared to how the table actually ended up. So like, subscribe, stick around for next week and we will catch you next time. Bye.